Hello everyone and welcome back to Ray Zero Space and Kerbal Space Program 2 where I am working on a dropship. This is a ship that is going to plop modules out of its cargo bay on the surface of the moon Minmus or some other body that has a reasonable amount of gravity and then fly away using its vertical thrusters, in this case four thud engines, which are actually OP for this business because without the hydrogen, we'll talk about that in a sec, uh, we actually have enough to lift off of Kerbin. Uh, we have a thrust weight ratio of 1.1, it says, with the thud engines. And 1,479. I didn't really want that much delta V with the thud engines, but uh, we have these adapter tanks, and I figured they'd be best, because otherwise it's awkward to attach the hydrogen tanks to the Mark III cockpit without the adapter, and the adapter has a certain amount of fuel, so we might as well go with that amount of fuel. Uh, I'll refine that later on. Uh, we are using a nerve in order to do the transfer out to wherever we're going uh, and capture. So to the moon or Minmus, we'll use the nerve to transfer and capture, and also probably to complete orbit around Kerbin. Uh, we have eight tons of hydrogen. And one thing, actually, let me dump that again. One thing I wanted to point out is that right now we have no hydrogen in. And take a look at the center of mass. When I add the hydrogen in, First of all, it shows the delta V, but doesn't show the hydrogen there. Nothing else is consuming the hydrogen, only the nerve would, but the center mass also didn't move. So we are using actually three of the medium pieces. Now the medium pieces were the ones that had the problem. Uh, they're pretty heavy too, uh, one ton each. Maybe, uh, if I trusted the light ones, uh, that would be probably better, but the light ones don't seem to have any uh, tolerance for stress. So. We're going to go with the medium ones, but I do have to make sure that pitch is inverted. So we'll use the outer ones for um, for roll only. And we'll use pitch, but this will be inverted because it seems like the metamorph needs that. And on the tail, we don't need to worry about inverting, I think. We'll see, but these will be coupled roll and a uh, couple pitch and yaw, not roll. And then the outboard ones are just going to be roll. Uh, the reason for the wings leading down here is so that we can attach the landing gear without obstructing the cargo bay. So that is necessary. The shape of the wing was to ensure that it could be basically placed above the center of mass directly and still do its thing. So yeah, so it wouldn't shift the center of mass too much. The reason we have a jet engine at all is because it plus the vertical stabilizers, plus the nuclear engine, uh, are exactly what you need to counterbalance the cockpit up front if the center of mass uh, is right in the middle. The thing is, the wing is actually pulling the center of mass a little bit forward. So that's it's going to be interesting for the thud engines to see whether they're balanced or not, or whether the reaction wheel can handle it. It's a little bit iffy. But there are other things that are iffy right now, like the fact that I don't actually know whether it's telling me the truth about the center of mass, given the fact that it doesn't change when I load some fuel in or when I delete fuel. We're not carrying any cargo right now. I will de delete the fuel again, the hydrogen fuel, uh, so that we can try and see if it's balanced on the runway and see whether it's structurally sound on the runway. I have put struts, the struts between uh, uh, that wing and this wing, and struts underneath here. Those disconnected again. Uh, um, they do that for some reason. Okay, so this might all fall apart on a runway immediately, but we are going to find out. I should have action grouped all the engines, though. Shoot. Oh. Uh, Alright. Well. It's a bit bouncy. But we can adjust the springs later. That's not a big deal right now. Okay, I want to control from up here, maybe? No, we can control from the cockpit and just stay horizontal, hopefully. Oh my god, it's actually working. Sort of. It's got it's got a little bit of pitch down. Um, and yaw control is rough. So, like, if I activate the jet engine... Oh god, oh no, it's ro it's going bad. It's uh... Ouch. 
But that was better than they expected, wasn't it? Okay, uh, let's let's go back to the VAB and action group some stuff. Seems like it was pitching down a bit, which, uh, given the slight deviance of the center of mass... Oop, I didn't want to do that. So, we need more leverage from this one. So we'll move these further forward. I'm actually surprised it worked that well at all. Okay, uh, maybe that will be enough. It wasn't that far off. And then we have to worry about landing on the moon or something. So, action groups. Okay, uh, let's have the thuds. And how about the whiplash on 9? And the nerve on 8. We could probably do with some extra battery too. But we'll, we'll see. Let me save this and we'll try it again. We definitely don't want up because <laughs> we're not controlling in that direction right now. Okay. Oh, well, that's better balanced. Oh, why are you yawing? Don't yaw. Don't yaw. Okay. Uh. I don't think the one whiplash is going to be able to do it, but maybe after we burn some fuel it will. Uh, don't, don't roll, don't roll. Okay. Well, we're gonna run out of the fuel soon. We'll have to turn off the thuds, because otherwise that'll also rob fuel from the jet engine. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it doesn't have enough pitch authority to counteract the fact that... Do we have any pitch authority at all? I don't think the wing ones are doing a whole lot. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll increase the wing... Oh, well, increase the deflection. We, maybe we should just have a vertical stable. I like the V-tail, but I'm thinking that maybe we need a vertical stabilizer and just regular horizontal stabilizers. Maybe we'll have four. Maybe we'll have the V-tail and horizontal stabilizers. Oh, it doesn't want to revert this time. It's stuck. I'm going to have to restart the game. Okay, well... It looks like we've maxed out the deploy angle for the metamorphs, the medium-sized wings, and the transition also is maxed out. We'll still have these also do pitch just in case, but it's probably better just to have dedicated horizontal stabilizers. I didn't really pay close attention to whether I was turning them the wrong way or not, so that might be a thing. We can move these up a little bit. Okay, why don't, why don't we do a control test? So, that's up. I mean, I guess, maybe we should just not have those do pitch. I mean, technically, it's okay. But not really, right? Let's just skip that. Let's just have them not do that. That's probably better. Let's even not have these do it. Let's keep it simple. No pitch. Okay, just those. And... And presumably the gimbling on the thud engines. Okay, let's try it. That's pretty nice. We're going backwards. <laughs> I don't want to go backwards. Oh gosh. Oh no. Uh... Oh, uh, uh, uh... oh no, poor Bill again. It was Bill, right? Okay, uh, revert to launch might be safer than revert to VAB. 
I mean, this will work a lot easier on the moon or Minmus or something. That, there's not even any atmosphere. Now, you might ask, well, why are we putting wings if we're landing it on the moon or Minmus or something? Well, so it can come back, basically. Um, so it can capture back into Kerbin orbit and then land. At that point, uh, we don't expect too much except use the jet for a little bit of thrust to help with landing, considering how things have been. Well, let's activate the jet engine before it starts going backwards. I should remember all my Harrier stuff and helicopter stuff. You have to pitch forward at this point, after all. Everybody knows that. Uh, there's a lot of Yaw Deviants. Uh, we always end up going this way. I mean, maybe we should mount the jet engine a little bit differently so it doesn't push us down. There is that. But really our aerodynamics should be able to handle it. I, I don't even have pitch authority, uh, pitch authority right now. I can't push my nose down. Oh uh, boy. First I can't pull my nose up, then I can't push my nose down. Okay, let's... Maybe there's something wrong with the balance then. But then again, maybe we just stalled out when I couldn't pull up. Well, we're gonna get some speed here. Let's get the landing gear down, just in case. It seems to have a very high... Where did it... Oh, uh, looks like it was a failure of the structural linkage between the wing and the cargo bay. I was hoping that the medium wings would be a little bit stronger, though. So, I don't know. Hmm. That doesn't seem good. And I hate that it immediately destroys it instead of just waiting and seeing whether it's actually destroyed or not. I mean, sure the wings ripped off, but we could have some fun after that. wonder how much effect the jet engine actually has on the center of mass. It's not saying it has any. <laughs> Look, I took it off. Let me delete it. Let's see, uh, you know what, let me see what happens when we leave the jet engine off and what the balance is and adjust for that. Drop ship, no jet. Okay, so without the jet, we would expect to need to move the thud here. I just want to see what the balance is. Okay. Uh, as expected, the front one needs to be moved forward. Pretty good though. What did we break? Did we break anything? Okay, maybe we should just test it out like that for a bit. And I know, I mean, I could just turn off the thrust. Oh, well, that's still hanging out there for some reason. Go away. In order to check the thrust, we can just drop the thrust limiter of the nerve, get the center of mass and center of thrust, and then move the thud. Though, you have to admit, uh, just trying it out practically is a lot more fun. But, the problem with this, the problem with moving the thuds to rebalance the center of thrust is that that's going to change as the fuel depletes. We wanted the everything to be perfectly centered, not forward of this line right here. Because as the fuel depletes, that's going to change where the center of mass is. If the center of mass is right at this line here, then because we're symmetrical about that line with the fuel tanks, all the fuel tanks are an even amount from this line, then we would stay balanced as the fuel depletes. But because the center mass is forward, we are not. it's not going to stay there. But of course the VAB is not going to show me where it's going to end up because it's like that. <laughs> 1,549 is more than we need for any Moon or Minmus final touchdown with this. 
so we could probably underfuel it. We really needed the adapters to fit the fuel tanks on. Or at least that's why I wanted them. We don't necessarily need to put all the fuel in. Let's just come to... Um, I still can't pitch down very well in order to maintain... And we we end up with a roll for some reason. And that doesn't help. That doesn't help. Well, okay. So, after all this, the metamorphs don't break. But in flight, they decided to break. That's just nonsense, isn't it? Normally, it'd have payload, of course. But then, it'll be in lower gravity and everything. I think... We should... I think we should keep the jet engine just to get the center mass closer to the middle so that it doesn't uh, deviate as much while the fuel depletes. Yeah, even though it's dry mass, it's dead mass for a lot of the trip though. Really honestly, instead of this wing design, this probably needs more of a forward swept wing than a backward swept wing then we could move the whole wing backwards and then the center mass would be about right. Maybe a canard instead. <laughs> I always end up with a canards. Yeah, the size does shift the uh, center of mass, uh, center of lift. It's just not while this window is open. Well, maybe if we have more span it'd be good. It doesn't change the mass though. When we close this, it definitely shifts the center of lift, but whether we... It doesn't might not provide more lift as we resize it, but it will change the center of lift as we resize it. Change the center, but not change the total amount of lift. I'm not sure. Because it's not changing the mass, it'd be a huge exploit if it changed the center of if it changed the overall lift instead of just the center of lift. Let's see what we can do with the jet engine. Maybe we can just mount it over here and use a different kind of intake. Radial air intakes aren't great. But Mach 1 efficiency is 100%. We don't really expect this to go above Mach 1. Oh, we still have these. These are 100% overall. They're a little bit heavier, but... They're worth it. Trying to get the jet engine to point more directly into the center of mass there. So now we've got some intakes on the top. We'll see how that works out. Still just one engine, but a little bit closer to the center of mass. Okay, so we've changed the whole wing plan. We've got canards now. Uh, let's see how this works out for us. Again, actually landing like this or taking off like this from Kerbin is not necessary for this. Uh, it's just a curiosity thing for me. Landing is important, but not landing with the thuds. It'd be landing after re-entry. God only knows how that's going to work with this wing, but let's see how this does. Okay, we need to pitch down. We need to pitch down. Uh, obviously the thuds aren't very well balanced here. I feel like another reaction would, would super help. Oops. Oh, uh, we lost a uh, vertical stabilizer again. Okay. Ah yeah, the thuds a little bit too far forward there. We're getting closer to the ideal center of mass here now, after reshaping the wing. Okay. Okay. Uh, pull up though. Are they doing the right thing? I think so. The 15 degrees of deflection ain't much. Maybe I should use all moving surfaces in front instead of these. Uh, 
I don't like going right. Uh. Okay. Looking good. We'll try and get to a hundred before stopping the thuds. It seems pretty well balanced right now. It's getting late in the day though. The uh, sun is setting. Yep. So we'll have to wrap it up for this series of flight tests. We'll have to figure out how to get it to orbit and then send it over to the moon or Minmus or something. Well, we're losing speed now. Uh, well, let me pitch down a bit and cut the thuds. Can it fly at all? These are still doing pitch. Uh, I guess I didn't save that. Let's turn that off. It can sorta ish fly. Not for very long though. It's still a little bit nose heavy. Let's just get the gear down. Why don't we not go too far away from the airfield? Oh, we're going down really fast now. Pull up, pull up, pull up. I don't think I can line up with the runway or anything. Let's see. Lining up with a taxiway. No. Okay. Oh gosh, it bounced. Oh. Tempted to do emergency thud activation, but. Uh, the landing gear is in a weird position. Okay, brakes. Brakes. Okay. We got it! We got it back! We flew with it and it came back, folks. It's not looking great in the sunset, but... Yep, yep, it happened. There you have it. Vertical takeoff. Not vertical landing, but the landing it's supposed to do. And the sun is setting here, so we'll have to call it a day. We need to launch it to orbit and see what it can do in its practical mission, but we'll save that for a different video. So anyway, with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.